Hello, race fans, and welcome to Disc Golf Daily. Time today, time today. Today is Wednesday, March 20th. It's time to get caught up with Disc Golf news and growth in 10 minutes. Hopefully I remember to cut that out. Today we will touch on money and courses after the news. And in case I forget to mention it later, feel free to share the podcast with any nieces or nephews that are visiting today. Now let's get to it. Our number one news story of the day, PDGA Major Announcements. And by that we mean PDGA Majors. U.S. Women's begins tomorrow. A record field of 350 players representing 8 countries and 39 states will take over the Austin, Texas area for the 25th U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championship and the first PDGA Major of 2024. There are over 20 divisions competing. In the FPO division, Kristen Tatar looks to become the first player in PDGA history to win six consecutive FPO majors. And I'll go ahead and add, she's doing it against more quality competition than any woman has ever faced. It is not too late to get tickets. Southwest flies to Austin and Dallas at very good rates. Get going. Another PDJ announcement, Am World's Tier 1 registration is now open. Our number two news story of the day, looking forward. I found this gem from Owl Jackson on Ulti World. It was one of the top 10 storylines of the Open at Austin. Quote, the young players are so good. Seriously, take a look at the MPO Top 20. You'll find names like Antela, Klein, Barella, Burr, Radalin, Hamas, Evan Smith, Ezra Robinson, Joey Buckets, Jakub Semerod. They are all 25 or younger in age. Is Calvin Heimberg an old guy now? I would like to say we are getting a glimpse at the next 10 years, but the truth is there's probably another crop of 15 to 16 year olds waiting in the wings that will make me have this exact same conversation in two years. Well said, Al Jackson. Link in the show notes if you'd like to read that for yourself. Our number three story of the day, there's a spoiler poll on Reddit. This is an interesting topic of conversation that pops up now and again, but not quite as often as it used to. Reddit eliminated the spoiler rule in the summer of 2022. Now some people are wondering if it should be brought back. Take the poll, link in the show notes. Just so you know, right now, 38 people say don't post spoilers, bring back the spoiler rule. Uh, 81 people say not seeing spoilers is on you. And our final news story of the day comes to us in the form of a poem about the OTB Open presented by MVP disc release that just happened. See if you can catch any MVP disc names in this little poetry action. In the glitch of twilight's veil, where tempo hums and shadows sail, a hex of dreams takes flight untamed across the cosmic canvas unnamed. A paradox spins a dance of light in drift and spin through endless night. Its servo heart a pulsing beat, guiding whispers secrets sweet. Trance-like it soars an ancient spell, an orbital waltz where stars compel. Each watt of energy, a fervent plea, to break free, to soar, to be set free. To vanish beyond the veil of sight, oh how we crave its weightless flight. Discs of flight in cosmic swing, the gyro kiss and chains do ring. And just so you know, that was an original piece edited just a little bit by me. And there we have it. I think it's time for some numbers. All right, we're going to talk about the top cash earners so far this year, how the top 20 earners compare from this year to last year, and then course growth and PDGA growth. we got a lot to do right now. Gannon Burr is the highest cash earner so far this year at $23,495 in seven events, averaging over $3,300 per event. Anthony Barella is in second, just over $20,000 in eight events, 
and Nicholas Antela is in third, just under $19,000 in four events. Nicholas has the highest average earnings per event of those three. On the women's side, Own Scoggins leads with 14505 in eight events, just over $1,800 per event. Kristen Tatar, $11,500 in just two events, averaging $5,700 per event, the most of anybody in professional disc golf right now. And Evelina Solonen is in third, earning $9,300 in three events. That's over $3,000 an event. If we compare the top 20 earners at this point in 2023 to versus at this point in 2024, it's $116,000 in 2023 compared to $193,000 in 2024. That's 65% growth. That is phenomenal. Let's move on to courses. Last week, there were 16 new courses put in the ground, 11 of them in the United States, a couple in Sweden, a couple in Germany, and one in Canada. We are averaging just over 16 and a half courses per week. That's 2.4 courses per day going in the ground. Estimated courses at the end of the year, 15,958. Estimated new courses in 2024, 858. We are still sitting at 99 countries with courses. If you're in a course without a country, <laughs> if you're in a country without a course, go ahead and plop one in the ground, put it in UDIS, get it verified, and let's get that, that 100th country on the map. All right, now it's time for PDGA growth. We've got some good, some bad, and some okay. PDGA disc and basket approval growth down 40%. Last year at this time, we had 74 discs and baskets approved. So far in 2024, we've only had 45. Event growth is up 1.7%. Basically the same, 1527 in 2023 versus 1553 events in 2024 through whatever, March 19th or so. It gets worse though. Based on my calculations of event attendance growth, that is not a good number. In 2023, the average at each event was 58.6 people attending each event. So far this year, we've dropped down to 49.12 average attendance per event. That's a 16% drop off. Regarding memberships, current PDGA members, 92,881. At the end of the year, we would estimate that we will have 134,000 total members. Current highest PDGA number, it is up there, 282613. Number of new members in 2024, 6,537. Estimated total new members by the end of the year, just over 20,000. We are just a little below pace if our goal is to stay flat in 2024 as compared to 2023, and I think that's our goal. So we've got a little bit of movement to do. That's it for us today. If you have any thoughts, news, or opinions, shoot us an email at discgolfdaily at aol.com. Have fun, throw them straight, and hit the thin gap.